S C U. You are now listening to Shattercast. On God, prepare to be shattered with your host Matt Baldwin, Skullface, Greg for Mercy, Oscar N J Boy, T Two R X Six, Mega A One. Welcome to Shattered Cast. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Shattered Cast on Cut Number Deuce. I, of course, am the one and only Oscar Alonzo, one of the many talented and charismatic hosts of this lovely podcast. And of course, joining me this fine evening is none other than the one, the only, Mr. Skullface. What's up, everybody? I'm recovering from a uh, mild heart attack I had earlier today when uh, Justin and fucking uh, Greg trolled the shit out of me and. Uh, <laughs> And made me think that uh, the band was already breaking up after one fucking episode. I was like sitting there. I, didn't know, I was like, I was like, I was like walking back and forth. I had a notebook out. I was like making pie charts and fucking graphs of like how to, you know where the shit went wrong. <laughs> how did I fail? <laughs> but all is well. All is well. And of course, joining in Skullface and myself is always everyone's favorite lovable internet troll, the one, the only G F M, Mr. Greg Ford Mercy. Like Justin said earlier, man, the only thing they can out troll is Facebook itself. Everything would have been perfect, but Facebook fucked up and made Justin drop the ball. But yeah, that was, that was, that was pretty fun. Uh, <laughs> and of course, selling caps of it for 99 cents a piece if you guys want to check it out. But plus shipping, plus shipping. Plus shipping. Plus shipping. And of course, joining Mr. GFM himself is of course the one, the only Mr. T2RX6, Mr. Justin. What's going on, fellas? And ladies? Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Lady? <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay, well, moving on next is, of course, our lovely virgin, his second straight podcast in a row without having a three-month break in between, the one, the only, the guy who everybody here wants to, his sister, Mr. <laughs> Matt Baldwin. Hello, everybody. I don't have anything. Like, after that, I don't, I can't say anything. Like and, <laughs> and, of course, thankfully joining us, he has his ear to the ground and everything Transformers related. He has the voice with so much bass, we have to adjust the fucking equalizer every time he signs on. The man that every time he just utters a single word, women's panties drop in unison. The one, the only, Mr. Antoine Lewis. What's going on? This is Mega 81. <laughs> mm. yeah. oh, oh, man. man moist. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Hooey! And as always, we had another lovely show for you guys where we talk about the community and things that will be affecting us as well as collectors and everything else. So let's go ahead and get the ball rolling. Anyone want to step up? Because the first thing we're going to be talking about is... I would love to. <laughs> we'll leave it up to Skull Face to take the point. <laughs> this is a picture for supposedly a new leader class Optimus for Transformers 4 Age of Extinction, and it oh, looks gosh. like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> it looks like Ralph in that pink bunny suit at the end of a Christmas story. It looks like the worst fucking possible thing imaginable. Sexy what are you nightmare. talking about? This looks so good. <laughs> so good, it, it, Bobby. Is that a pack of cigarettes that they're comparing it to? I know. It really made me want to get up and smoke when <laughs> I saw this that's photograph. that's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need something for comparison. Everyone, quick, pull out your Marlboro China. 100s now, in a box. He's so tough. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, the the toy that they were pairing next to the pack of cigarettes is actually not the leader figure. It's that giant, simple transformation uh, figure that's been advertised, aimed at smaller kids. That's the one they compared to a pack of cigarettes on the Internet. The one aimed for young children. Oh, so, so we can advertise that with the, the, the one for the little kids with the cigarettes. That makes sense. Yep, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Have fun with Transformer, then smoke cigarette. I'm surprised the guy holding them up is not dressed in like a Joe Camel outfit and you know, all that stuff. No, just uh, your regular average uh, Chinese confused man wearing a dress and a wig. <laughs> like, who does this? No. <laughs> like, takes a picture of a children's toy and is like, oh, fuck, I got to give him a point of reference. Uh, what do you guys got any vibes? Let's see, uh, double-A battery, no G.I. <laughs> Joe, no regular deluxe class from Generation 5, no. I need my I cigarettes. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I have stars. And uh, the only problem with that photo is the guy forgot to pack them before he took the photo. <laughs> he was like, oh, this loose fucking tobacco leaf. 
It's everywhere. And it's kind of a sloppy job opening them, but who am I to judge? Yeah. <laughs> now, I heard coincidentally around the same time these images went up on the internet, a uh, man threw himself in front of a train in the uh, D.C. Uh, area. I don't know if it's related or not, but uh, I can look hope. <laughs> I heard that as soon as these sur- pictures surfaced on the net, a guy in Tampa went irate on some dude in the movie theater. Boom, shot him dead. People think it's because he was texting. No, is that he saw Antoine Lewis's news feed on the Addicts page, and he went ballistic and just started shooting at some random guy. What the hell is that? They were yelling, not again. <laughs> not again! I'm not buying my kid another shitty Optimus Prime. Is that a fucking mouth? <laughs> does, uh, does anybody look at this and actually think that it just looks like I mean, like, I'm pretty sure I've seen this thing in, like, Dollar General or something like that already. Oh, you mean the Mars converters? Of course. <laughs> I mean, Not like, even that. I mean, just, like, cheap, cheap Chinese knockoff. I've gone... With, like, the random chrome. That I've, really makes no sense. I've moved so far right. past this toy that, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm more sitting here with a critical eye of why didn't the guy take the time to open up that one side of the soft pack properly <laughs> he's never going to be able to get one out easily now they're all going to come out it's going to be two or three it's going to be like that 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 pocket of ice at the bottom of the cup when you go to lean it up and they all hold together and then they all come at once that's how it's going to be with this guy couldn't fucking open a pack of cigarettes right because but, i just don't have uh, fucking patience i'm getting all the movie toys okay what y'all say no, I, I'm not, I'm, no, I'm gonna be real here. I'm gonna be serious. Besides the fact that in robot mode he is an aesthetic nightmare, um, the vehicle mode I really like. I am a truck driver, and this motherfucking truck looks really sweet. Yeah, I would probably cool. kill the bl- the the fucking flames, and they probably would have like sold me on it. But like, I'm trying to now. Like after I saw these photos, I was googling how to remove paint from a transformer successfully without stripping the entire blasted thing altogether. Yeah. So I'm not gonna lie, it's a nice truck, nice vehicle mode, but I don't buy these guys to keep them in one mode on display. Yeah. If you're so. if you're into the truck, then I would just say go for probably any other size class that's coming out. Though, like, uh, mm-hmm. with leader will be a. I mean, if this is like forty dollar, fifty dollar thing, like this is not forty to fifty dollar quality. That's for sure. No, no. no. Mm-hmm. In an effort to say something not nice thing at all. Uh, they did handle the kibble on this one better than the actual. Uh, it, it, what? Peter Glass figure uh, from what I've seen. But uh, <laughs> well, look at the back. Look at that backpack. That backpack is pretty, pretty flat. It is. I'll give him credit there. Um, he's so, got Cosmos with him too, so you know. Can't yeah, Cosmos. What are you it's talking about? The shield. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be Cosmos. I don't care what it is. It's gonna be Cosmos. It's a, it's a two pack. Maybe I if could... it came with the stuff, the stuff dragon in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Does the stuff dragon come with the figure? No, for the last time. Who keeps fucking asking this <laughs> shit? Stop calling me. <laughs> yeah. My god. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So, so what do you think, Antoine? You try to be, you try to, you're like Matthew, you know, you try to show some love for the Hasbro figures. What's your opinion on this figure in itself? No, this one is totally crap. I don't think I will buy this. So. <laughs> no. I'll be spending like, a lot of money this year. He's like, nah, nah, son. Hey, man. Nah. Yeah. one is the loneliest number. <laughs> 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 I'll get it. Fuck you I'll tell you I'll get it. This is, the, this is the premium one, right? That's going to come out uh, a couple of months before. Well, okay. well, like this is supposedly like the five step changer for kids. Oh, so man. this isn't like the definitive final figure. Maybe he'll look okay. I try to give movie figures a shot. I really do because that's what really blew up this franchise to like a worldwide phenomenon. That's true. So I, I, I got. I'm, I'm really excited. I want to, you know, the latest class from. I think. Uh, I don't know. I think it's gonna be enough. Uh, you know. Who's got a bag of Funyuns? <laughs> Damn it! Fucking, I was just about to say that shit. Fucking Justin, <laughs> stop <laughs> eating. <laughs> I, I, I'm looking at the, I'm sorry to cut the stop, but I mean like, I'm looking at like all the, all of our icons, our avatars, and every time the rapper crinkles, Justin's like lights up. Yep. And I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? Is he eating? Cause I'm, I'm hungry now. <laughs> some of us have, some of us get home from work like 20 minutes before we start podcasting. So. Sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. You'll lose weight. You'll look yeah, buff, bro. No One day a week, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you they take pictures with your shirt off. Like, do you even cast, bro? 
<laughs> uh, they still jerk off like one of those rare Transformer fans with an actual six pack. You know, he could be like a fucking model. He'll reply back, "I cast all the time, bro." <laughs> and the only thing you can do is reply back to that photo, fag. <laughs> and then carry on. No homo. Uh, so, yeah, no homo. We love our gay Transformer fans. So moving on next, uh, Deca Toys in the process of redoing their Chronos figurehead. Uh, they're not Skyfire. Um, Some that looks like a fucking brick. I don't <laughs> care. Now, is this one, Greg or Justin? Or, is this the is this the bigger one or the smaller one? This is the bigger it's one. The I believe. One. Oh, is it? <laughs> this is the smaller one. No, it's the bigger one. Oh, okay. The small, right. the, the, the small one, I think, is a mega form one. Oh, okay. Shout out to Megaform, man. You know. Yeah, they they friend requested me, uh, all of us on uh, Facebook, yep. and um, looking forward to what you guys have to offer for your Jetfire. Yep. We will, we will happily it. review it on podcast. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you could just you could just send us one, and we'll pass it around like that easy chick at a high school party, you know. And we'll all do our little review video reviews on it. Antoine will use his iPhone and just sit there and go this stuff right here. <laughs> I tell you what, send <laughs> send us six of them. We'll all say it's great, regardless. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, how big is uh, how big's Kronos? He's big as fuck. He's blue. No. He's yeah, like, Voyager. Yeah, I'm a massive size. Yeah, he's like massive size. Huh? Yeah, so like, like MP10. 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 No, he's like, yeah. are like Megatron. Yeah, he's, MP10. Size. Okay. yeah, he's like MP01 class. He's the old class. He's he's supposed to scale properly with the masterpiece figure, yeah, so he's yeah. gonna be fucked. But I, he's gonna be what two hundred bucks probably. I, yeah, something oh. like that. I don't know. I just didn't like the look of it because. I, could, I couldn't tell if it was a, a CGI image or if it was an actual image of the toy they were putting up at one point. But you'd think if you're if you're trying to sell their toy, you would put it in an interesting pose, not just standing there straight up. <laughs> and if it was CGI, you could fake it a lot easier, even if it didn't the, stand there. The pose reminds me of those old like Marvel Universe books that used to come out that were like trade size, and like they'd all have like each character standing forward and standing sideways, one palm yeah. facing up and one palm back. <laughs> Oh, the turnaround? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. Um, yeah, the turnarounds. But the, this, like, this, I, the only thing I'll give these guys credit for, because I'm going to probably be going with fans to always Skyfire. Um, unless Mech, Mechaform uh, wants to, to get on the winning team, I'm probably going to be <laughs> going with uh, fans toys. But uh, at least these motherfuckers listened. You know what I mean? At least people said, hey, we don't like this, we don't like that. And they said, okay, back to the drawing board. Yep. Right. Yeah, so they get a little credit there. Yep. Unlike the other other company, <laughs> they got butt hurt for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oscar's favorite company. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> Shut up! I'm just ready to see what this is going to look like as uh, Ironhide and uh, Impactor and uh, <laughs> uh, Grimlock and uh, Astrotrain yeah. and, uh, you know, a Quintesson. <laughs> <laughs> is anybody uh is anybody thinking about getting this? Nope. I'd have to see final images. I mean, it, it, <laughs> what I'm seeing on the net now, by the way, if you if you don't type in DACA, D A C A, if you like an idiot like me and put in DECA toys, you'll get a lot of like 3D animated male avatars. <laughs> <laughs> with their shirts off wearing, you know, leopard skin. It, it's it's weird. It was awkward. What, what was that totally site? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got to look at something. I already like, there's a picture on the Cybertron.com uh, forums. Um, Sabertron, I'm sorry, you know, that hand-me-down site from TFW of some kid. Fit, some, well, he looks like a kid. I'm sure it's a grown-ass man. He's probably, they're probably in fucking Singapore fiddling with it. And he looks pretty big. So... I mean, I don't know. It depends on what the what's the retail price asking for this guy again. I think it's like two hundred. Is it two hundred? Ah. No, I thought it was two hundred. Like one fifty or something like that. Somewhere yeah. close to that. It that sounds remotely like decent for a third party MP size MP zero one size figure. It does. So it's just that that fan's toys is going to be right behind her. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the big. Third party news of the week, I would say. Um, <laughs> it's uh, Toy World's oh! reveal of TW03 that they hyped up, I feel like, since before the new year, possibly. Yep. Um, and it ends up being a masterpiece esque size Bumblebee 
G1 style. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, um, G1 cartoon. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me of a, uh, a Shell Silver Steam foam where he said, <laughs> almost perfect, but not quite. It's just right. like, <sighs> it's a little too little, it's a little too late. I'm, in my opinion, if, if you, yep. you got a Takara masterpiece like announced officially and, and now you think is a good time to, I don't know. Basically to pull this shit, yeah, yeah it's, yeah. I, I've seen, I saw P.I.'s review, big shout out to P.I., we thugs, bro, yep. thug life, but um, I saw his review of it, and again, not really impressed, for 80 bucks, and that's what Dubk is selling him, like, I believe it's 79.99, it's like 80 shipped or something like that, I think they are, that is immensely overpriced, for a figure that is essentially hollow on the inside, because his arms tuck away behind his chest, right. And for when it comes to his windows, it's painted on. And if you're a fan of the of the Volkswagen Bumblebee, that's fine. If this is up your rally, knock yourself out. I think you're wasting your money because the Takara masterpiece is gonna just fucking. I think it's gonna be superior. Yeah, well, that's but I think, Hell yeah. But I think this is for like classes and shit. Though I don't think it's for masterpiece. <clears throat> yeah, the, the, I think that this one, this one can is is aimed more towards classics, but it's still it's still in the right frame that it. You could try to kind of freak it either way. Isn't it? Right, uh, right. Isn't it just a, a slight bit taller than the regular uh, Classics B? Yes, uh, I I believe so. Yeah, like the vehicle modes, they're roughly the same size. Yeah. Um, the toy world's a little taller, and then um, again though, it's like again, you're paying eighty bucks for a G1 accurate Bumblebee that would go on your Classic show. Well, that's the thing. The Classics B scales really nicely with the current line of masterpiece in terms of. Right. You know, robot mode, which is why the art feather works, because it's just a reshell. But, right. again, like, I don't understand why, like, this one, it's just, it's too late. It's just right. not, well, <laughs> exactly. actually, I think it's a, two things. old project, though. Yeah, it's a PL, assumes that. Well, well, that's their problem. It's an old project. Get off your ass and finish your fucking throttle bot combiner, well, that you're hyping actually, up like no one's business. That's my, no, they're gonna, that's my go first ahead. thing. I'm sorry. That's my first of my two things. Well, actually, that's my second. My first thing is in regards to the whole masterpiece thing. They're probably thinking it, we're not going to get this out better than the masterpiece, but we sure as fuck are going to bury the eye gear one because that thing was like a fucking. <laughs> second, of all, second of all, how much you want to bet me that this is the same figure as the gold bug? They're just going to retool it a little bit. So you know what I'm saying? They're already getting their repaint in there um, early. So. Yeah, I I, I kind of had that same thought too, and I know that uh, it was said that the gold bug is going to be the newer beetle, but I still don't think that that doesn't mean it's not just a reshow. So, uh, well, uh, you know, my, my thing is is that like it's just it's it's the same price as as a masterpiece bumblebee, right? So like. I, I, I don't get it. Like, I, I can't wrap my head around why the build up, why the, it seems like they have a lot of faith in this. You know what I mean? Like, um, I feel like this got more build up than when they announce, you know, or show colored pictures of a new throttle bot. You know, you don't, you yep. don't get the toy world like, in, in, a new throttle. You know, you don't get that shit, but this, it was like, you know, one, one, fourteen, fourteen. What well, could it be? Or, you know, or one, ten, four, you know, like this. Yep. And then for it to be this, it was just like, this seems bizarre. I'll tell you what, Toy World, I will be back for Bumblebee if the masterpiece Bumblebee fails. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it. if, if this. I doubt it too. But if they, yeah. had, if they hadn't announced the masterpiece Bumblebee, I'd get this. I don't think this looks bad. No, not at all. I don't think it, I don't think it looks bad at all. But if 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 like they were gonna do a masterpiece Bumblebee, I probably would have gone with Art Feather. Yeah, you know what, Oscar? Thanks for bringing that up. Scratch that, Toy World. I'm not coming to you if it fails. <laughs> I already have Art Feather. So I forgot. My bad. No, oh, you're welcome. Right. You know, I remember, like, at first I was kind of on the fence about him, and then, uh, I actually spoke to a, a, a fellow founder, uh, Greg for Mercy, and he, I believe you had him for a while, right, Greg? I did. I did have him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I ended up buying him on eBay. I got him for a decent price on eBay, and I'm not disappointed with that figure. He sits probably on my shelf for display. Yep. Now, if the Takara Masterpiece Bumblebee be pretty good, yeah, you know, I'll, you know, I wouldn't mind selling my Art Feather, but for the time being, you know, that figure's fine. This didn't need to be made, I'm sorry. It comes with Chip Chase, uh, right? Or Feather? Uh, well, uh, no, it comes, mine, yeah, Goldbug comes uh, with Chip, gotcha. I, yeah. 
Well, that's why I got rid of my Art Feather B, because uh, they announced the Masterpiece, and then I was just going to uh, get that Gold Bug, just because I wanted a Chip Chase, but I just couldn't pull the trigger, because I like Chip Chase, but not $60 like Chip Chase. But uh, right, right. Now, if this had been a Chip Chase figure revealed, um, <laughs> I would have been all over it. How would they reveal that, though? Well, matter of fact, it came with chip chase. For a five dollar pre-order. What'd you say, Antoine? I said, "What if?" I'm saying, though, what if it came with chip ch- uh, chase? It it needs better. That that would make him better. It and you know, I'm I'm not crazy for chip chase. I could care less about wheels, but <laughs> you know, I I. I I, I care more about like you know okay this was made why when Art Feather already did this dude this is a, you're they're they're doing what I thought they were gonna they're doing exactly what I knew they were gonna end up doing they're gonna try to outdo one another and and basically it's it's completely unnecessary move on with your own project like Toy World had me sold on their Throttlebot combiner but after I got uh, Grind Rod which just sounds like an STD and then I got uh-huh. freaking Aurora I was waiting forever and out comes Orion. And I was like, so where the fuck's my chase? So I sold my two guys. I'm like, because I guess they're going to cancel it. Well, they didn't do that good. Now I don't know where they come out with chase. <laughs> and I was like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. It's unnecessary. Finish your fucking throttle box combiner before you go ahead and start making your version of Ultra Magnus. Before, you know, well, I would love for you guys to re-release Hegemon. Yeah. You yeah. know, but um, before you start moving on to anything else, finish your fucking combiner. Well, you know. You're doing the same thing that th- that third party companies are now being known for: delays or just taking their sweet ass time to do something, and then oh hey, we got we got a delay, you know, before Godzilla attacks the tanker containing your product. Well, my thing is that, <laughs> like, I'm all for these companies like putting out the same products so that they can compete each other against each other, and then the cream will rise to the top, and the rest will kind of get what you know brushed aside, and then in the long run, it'll end up saving me a couple dollars but my thing with this one is you know you know go up against fucking i mean your toy world just kind of know the lane you're in you know what i mean go go against somebody in your fucking in your fucking range but i mean for anybody to kind of go against a car masterpiece it's like you know don't don't pull on superman's cape now you know (laughs) (laughs) by all means let's not get crazy you know don't don't try to feel up the stripper's leg when you know her fucking boyfriend's sitting right next (laughs) to you okay it's a little awkward speaking speaking of cream Speaking of what? I was going to say, speaking of cream, um, Justin, yes, how much uh, cream have you been churning out over this uh, oh, yeah. TFC protector box? Streetwise. Uh, streetwise. Also known as Gumball. Uh, not as much as I kind of had hoped. I mean, I, I'm definitely getting it still. But I look at it and I see barricade. Yep. yep. I do too. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. I look at like the first barricade figure release with the fucking way the shoulders are. And then the the red has me thrown for a loop. It's not streetwise, and it sucks because I remember when we were on Good Morning Cybertron and they announced that they were going to do a Protectobot set. I got really excited because I love the Protectobots. Yeah, you know that was when I was a kid. That was the first combiner I completed was the, was the Protectobots. So now I look at it now and it's just oh, you're very white and red. Yeah, I mean, it looks like you already need re- uh, repro labels. I mean, you're already thinking, God, I got to get the sticker set for that already. The deco is so boring. I mean, yeah. it is. It, 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 it and for a hundred well, bucks too. I mean, really? I mean, plus the paint on that's it. Yeah. that's my problem. Like you, you sit there, you're gonna blow at least five hundred bucks on this thing, oh, yeah. depending on where you get all the yeah. pieces from. And it's like in the end, you're not you're not counting the repro labels they're gonna make for it because you know those amazing guys over at reproLabels.com are gonna look at this thing and go, oh no, oh no, yeah. they're like, oh, oh no, no. They got this. Shit they should. We gotta make another. I, I, I think this like, was just. Go for it, Greg. You first. I was just gonna say, I think this was designed by the same guy who uh, who made those white cans with the black letters that said beer on them. For, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's what it fucking looks like. It's just a plain white car, and you're like, well, how are we gonna make it streetwise? Oh, I know. We'll write police on the side in black. Booyah! Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Hundred dollars. And I like, I think, I think the reason he's a Mustang is because he, the Mustang's more boxy, so it's gonna be easier to fit his, you know, large boxy parts inside a more boxy car. I get that. Man. But why not choose like the new Ford Interceptor or, you know, like the, uh, Dodge Chargers or something like that as your police car instead of exactly what Barricade was. 
I, I would have liked to have seen to, to give the ultimate homage to the G1 figure. I forgot what that figure that that figure's uh, vehicle mode was based on, but I would have loved to have seen this shit been like the old school like 1980s big body Caprice. Yeah, yeah, that'd be you cool know, too. I would have loved to have seen that. Yeah, if you watch that G1, I mean, that's what you would do. You would make it look like it's G1. I believe. Yeah, that would be the ultimate homage, but again, you know, some people say this is how a lot of third-party companies avoid lawsuits in the first place because of the slight differences. Yeah, uh, I believe it was they like do. a 240, uh, Z, the original one. Was it? Yeah. Um, oh, thank you. I and, know. uh, like, you know, I think the, I think the, uh, old Caprice would be good. Like, I, I also don't understand where the name Gumball comes from. Um, I believe it's a running gag of the like gumshoe, like detective. Well, see, that's and in the, the comics, he's like Prowl's partner. And... They should have called him Gumshoe then, cause Gumball is an illegal race. You know, like, if you're in a Gumball, you are probably not the cop. You are probably the guy running from the cops. So. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh, I'm gonna play the opposite side of the fence. Um, I like this. I, I, I get where everybody's coming from, but I'll tell you why I like it. I like TFC stuff in general. I know it's like, I know it's very vogue right now to hate TFC, but I, I have their Hercules and I have their, uh, Superion and I like both of them. And yeah. what I like about TFC is that the transformation is like, it's, it's simple, but it's, it's like just complicated enough, but it's simple it's enough. Simple but effective. But it still feels like a G1 kind of toy. It still feels like a super updated G1 toy. And what I like about this one in comparison to most of their stuff where my, my criticism lies with most of TFC stuff is this face is pretty accurate. And I'll, oh, of course. I'll, I'll give you that. And I, like I said, I'm still getting this. I'm still into it. I'm just more disappointed than I expected to be. But usually their faces are way the fuck off. Like yeah. if you look at like Razor Claw, it's like it doesn't look anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. We don't talk about failures. <laughs> um, uh, I, I I agree. I think you know I I like it. I don't own any TFC figures because I thought you know at the time I was like a hundred dollars for what? Blow me. <laughs> But, you know, I wasn't exactly crazy over it. But then again, uh, I mentioned his name a lot in this podcast. I'm glad he's with us on this podcast because of Justin. I, it, the way his reviews are, I've made decisions on whether to buy figures or not, depending on his opinion and what he shows. And from what I've seen comparing, like, um, TFC's, uh, Her- Hercules compared to Maki Toys Giant, Hercules would be the wiser investment for me. Which is why I am going to quit smoking and win that figure set from the girlfriend. But uh, I've seen his review on them, and their transformations kind of remind me a little bit of like the Energon toy line. You know, they they were kind of simple, but at the same time, their vehicle modes were effective as well as their robot. Yeah. You know, Cybertron. I meant not Energon. Cybertron. Not Energon. <laughs> not Energon. <laughs> don't. Like don't. Had, no, we don't. We don't talk about that train wreck. When I had Hercules, <laughs> like when I first got him, and like I had him all yeah. in like uh, the fucking vehicle mode. Like, it took me a while to, like, stop fucking with them, like, driving. Like, and I never do that. You know, I, I usually transform into robots. Transform. It was back. very gratifying to get Hercules. It, it was. Like, it, it, it gave me that, you know, like, that feeling like we all talk about, like, that nostalgic feeling. Yep. Like, I, I would line them up. I'd make them all, like, drive around together, like, put three fingers on three different figures. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like I never Yeah, because people have been like waiting that. for so long. I mean, yeah. people have been yeah. waiting. and just like, God dang, can somebody make a fucking combiner? And then you get this, and it's and it's huge. You're like, God dang, I love it. I mean, you, it just made you moist. That's all the, it is. The, the, uh... You are banned. You are banned, good sir. No, I'm sorry. I had to do it. Sorry, Justin. The uh, the the other thing about uh, Streetwise here that I can say in, in favor of it is uh, I love the uh, fans project Stunicons, but this guy is going to scale so much nicer with uh, your deluxe size. You know. Oh, of course. I can't wait to see no. the other. I can't wait to say the ones too. I, mean, I, I am I am going on a limb and this year I am going to get at least two third party combiners complete because this shit with like waiting on a uh, diesel to come out to twenty fifteen in some kind at some time. <laughs> I am going to try my damnness to complete my MMC collection. I just ordered uh Fortis not too long ago. He's in the way. And now you know what? It's like I've seen the TFC figures, I've seen the Superion, which a lot of people hate because essentially, like I said in another podcast, he has the same problems as the Fall of Cybertron Metroplex. But, you know, the, with the whole standing, he yeah. ends up doing that Van Damme split, you know. But that that has its prepared, thanks to our good friend Justin over here. Yeah, so, I want to see, <clears throat> I am going to sit there and I am going to invest in this set. I am going to get all the Protector bots. Yeah, I'm going to. Also. And I, I, this is going to be my first TFC combiner if I don't end up winning at Hercules. But, but, TFC, listen to my podcast for a second. 
don't make a fucking defense of defense or, or you know, rescue of defense or set. Like, we don't need this. Just make it right the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they won't. Yeah, no, they, at they've, all. They've, pro- they've proven they can get an extra dollar now. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I hope yep. they do. I hope they do groom right and hot spot. I like them. I, I hope they really do. I like I, I like Streetwise right? mostly. I like Streetwise mostly because since I was a kid, you know, when you're a kid, you either want to be a cop or a fireman or a fucking astronaut, right? <laughs> so when I was a kid, I wanted to be a cop. That's why Prowl when MP Prowl came out, I was excited. And now there's this version of Streetwise, and he's gonna look great with my MP Prowl after I probably repaint him. But yeah, I'm a whatever. little partial for Hot Spot myself, but I am, um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing the the design on that one because I do think of of all the TFC figures that I have, and I have, you know, all six constructed guns and the five aerial bots. I think that Silver Bolt is the one that drops the ball the most. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Um, <laughs> so <clears throat> speaking, of, this one I, I I kept in um for the, for those listening like. Like, uh, you know, we all have a division of labor here at Shattered Cast. Like, we're, you know, we all have ownership of it and therefore, you know, participate and contribute. So, Antoine gathers the news all week. Cause if you, if you're on the, you know, the social media, then you know Antoine and he's all over it. And then I kind of go through at the end and clean it up. And I left this one in there. Um, Cyber Geek Alliance posted the new pictures of the, the, the Revol, the Revol Tech ish shockwave and soundwave. They're like, uh, but they're like third party revolt tech or whatever they're called. Um, and like at first I was like, oh, they don't transform. Fuck them. But the more I look at them, the more I kind of want them. Yeah. No, don't do it, Bobby. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Well, revolt tech, they're not. Nice. <laughs> I see. That's the thing. Revel tech to me is very outdated by newer styles of action figures. Uh-huh. So I have a real hard time getting into Rebel Techs anymore. I but uh I don't know. They don't they don't yeah. look horrible. I I could personally see the sound wave like having it just putting it as a you know, like in my office at work or something like that. Yeah, they're perfect. I got uh Starscream, Prime, Magnus and uh Hot Rod and Megatron. I think all of them. And they're great for work. I mean just sitting there. You know, they don't transform anything, but they're really nice detailed. I like Starscream, he comes with a little uh stand. He comes with a Megatron's gun, and it's pretty cool. I mean, I like him. Hey, Robotech, why don't you make us a chip chase? <laughs> oh, wow. A uh, fully posable that chip real. taste. I mean, think about it, Cyber Geek. All you would have to do is literally just melt a G.I. Joe into a seat. And then his <laughs> arms are articulate, and his hands, and you can give him little glasses that come on and off, so he can fall over and be like, Oh, I lost my glasses! Well, you know. My thing I'm, is... If you're gonna make uh if you're gonna make a non transforming Transformers related figure, like if you want to get in, if you wanna get a little piece of the pie, um, make the humans. Make like really articulate human characters to go along. Because uh I know yeah. I've heard Justin say in the past and I agree wholeheartedly that my uh nostalgia and memories of G one involved uh Spike and Spark Plug and yeah. you know, the human characters. So I, w- I would buy it. I would buy that. Uh, if they scaled right, um, you know, with Masterpiece, I would buy that. Yeah, I would too. Mm-hmm. And that blonde chick. Yeah. And... Oh, oh Marissa, Marissa Fairborn. Uh, Carla, Carly? Yeah. Who, who, oh, who yeah. they homaged, who, who they homaged in Hands Down, I'm sorry to interrupt everyone, but they homaged Carly in Hands Down, the worst film out of all three in Regent of Fallen. She was the pretender. Oh, yeah. That, that uh. Perfect. Who got knocked down yeah. by Fireglass? We got what? Remember, uh, uh, one of the episodes, Power Glide knocked a woman down, and they, ah, that's just down. some bitch. No one worry about it. <laughs> everybody got, everybody got mad. Like, oh my god, they're so sexist, and they're like, shut up. That, like, shut the fuck up. Get into the kitchen. Was in the way. Well, the that's best thing in that episode was one of my favorite. Uh, that created one of my favorite Transformers memes, and it was the one. It's that scene where uh, Power Glide's standing at uh, Teletran One. And the chick's behind him, and he's telling her, like, yeah. He's like, get out of the way, you don't get stepped on. And he's pointing, in the, like, off in the distance, and she's walking away, and it says, bitch, get in the kitchen, make me a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, us Transformer fans are equal, equally when it, you know, we're, we're the, probably a, a raging group of sexists. But speaking of raging, um, 
Wow, okay, this is, I, I need to say this because I saw this and I basically wanted to just put my hand in a meat grinder in a garbage disposal. Whichever one's closer. Uh, Hasbro, the first reveal of their next wave of generations, which is gonna have the wing blade figure, which I never voted for. Um, Nightbeat, which is the biggest disappointment because they're retooling Jazz, and to quote Greg, he is officially the new Seeker mold. I'm just waiting for Starscream to actually be decoed into this mold. I think it's gonna happen. And then, and then we have, I'm not sure if I'm saying his fucking name right. Is it Jaxus? Jaxus. Jaxus. They have a Jaxus, which is a retool, redeco of the Armada Starscream mold, which looks ridiculous. That to me hey, is Oscar? the disappointment of the three. Yes. Jaxus. Say it with me. Jaxus. I, I think on the, another show I've told the, the origin of the name. It's an inside well, joke by Simon Furman. Because they knew their Generation Two comic was being canceled. Anyway, they did a figure that was a redeco of the. Um, uh, I want to say Jetstorm. Yeah, Jetstorm. Oh yeah, he was oh, from the Peace Machines line. He was all orange and that shit. Like some jerk offs tried to sell it for like a grand yeah. online on eBay because he's yeah. totally worth it. Not really. Nah. Yeah, I think it was KB, KB or something like that. Yep, it was a it was a really that it's an ugly figure painted in extremely ugly colors, and now they went ahead and did this with what I thought was a decent upgrade to the Armada Starscream mold, and now they ruined it because I've seen it. He looks like a fucking ape. So if you ever wonder what Optimus Prime will look like as a fucking jet, there you are. Well, like, it's ridiculous. The, uh, the, I mean, they're, they're, this is the whole IDW push that they're doing, right? I mean, this thing couldn't look further from the G axis I know. Right. Yeah. It, Not the it, one I saw. He looks nothing like that. Am I alone? Like why? Like and I, I've, I've actually been hearing some positive feedback about it, and it's like, are, are you motherfuckers reading the same book I am? Yep, <laughs> I've I've seen it on TFW. Where I was like, this looks great. I'm gonna get all these guys and two of Jaxus. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's not great. These are horrendous. Then you know it's bad when you fucking have a group of people already bitching about the Nightbeat figure when they're like, Hasbro, look at what Cheetahmus did. Look at this amazing redeco he did with that horrific Bumblebee mode you came out with. Yeah, yeah. Look at what he did to it. Why can't you do that? No, you need to fucking bust out another redeco of Jazz. Why? See, fucking that's, why? Where, that's where I'm on the fence because, I mean, this is garbage, but the Jazz mold is like the one classics figure I kind of keep around just because that's like, in my opinion, like the best classics mold. Oh. I'm not uh, saying it's a bad mold. I just hate the fact that they used I, that mold to do Nightbeat. I know. That's okay, what I'm saying. Like, I, it's nice that they're keeping that mold around, I guess, because it is the good one. But, I mean, how many fucking... This whole new generation's line is bullshit. Because how many original figures have we fucking gotten? And how many fucking repaints? Like, this wave is <laughs> all repaints, for the most part. You know what I mean? Yep. Right. We've got uh, and, and and the wave before the one with Tankor, Rat Trap, and now uh, what was it? Fuck, was his name? Uh, the Silver Skids. Screw it. Oh, you know the, the wave. What's his name? Crosscut. Crosscut. Yeah. Again, they're, they're redecos, and if you know, if they're going to be doing that, and I like the Skids figure. I think he's okay. If you're going to go ahead and redeco this monstrosity in silver now. And you're gonna keep misassembling him on purpose. You you know you're just gonna lose me, lose my support altogether. Hey, you know what? A, you know what a good night beat figure was. I mean, I know everybody don't like, but the TFCC Club one, the, the Energon uh, Bumblebee or Hot Shot. I'm sorry. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually. I mean, it's not a great mold, but to stay with G1, you know the the whole box, you know thing going on, it actually fits not being really well. Well, you know what's a great night beat mold? The G1 night beat. It mold. is. No, I mean I got the G1 <laughs> just last week, about two weeks ago, and it's a great mold. I'm saying to represent from that to the G1, I think it looks. I think it looks pretty good. Other I've than the reading, jazz mold. I've been reading the comments, and like somebody said, you did it. You actually did it. You ruined the only G2 character in the year. <laughs> somebody, else said, somebody else said, here's Hoping Fans Project. We'll make them. <laughs> when, now, when Transformer fans are dicks, uh, I, I prefer them at that point. Oh, it's F.W. To, to, to be so fair, this isn't the, the only G2 figure. Um, uh, oh, I guess of the year. But, yeah, I mean, that Dark points uh was yeah. a g2 dark which you know but that was yeah. a good that's that's actually good that dreadwing is actually really nice oh yeah he's better than I'm, 
Yeah, yeah he's he's in my my anus right now, actually. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, that's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Are they transformed <laughs> or is he robot mode? Well, the easiest way to get him up there is in a uh, alt mode. Um, alt mode, yeah. I get it. It sounds like Matt's reaching for the motion lotion. I'm trying, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Good. Right We're gonna rock this shit. So, speaking of rocking this shit, exactly. Speaking of something, I am now fiending for. Like, I want to throw my classic figure against the wall after I saw this. <laughs> He's moist. Masterpiece Wheeljack is finally revealed. Fucking awesome. My goodness, this is that is fucking Wheeljack. I don't know the feet. The feet, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that. I saw that. I saw that tool fucking post that comment. What a fig! Now, but, hey, why is he gray? I don't like him when he's gray. And why doesn't he have ape arms? That was such an iconic thing in the G one <laughs> toy. Because he had the ape, the ape arms that were not articulate. I miss my G one wheel jack. I I for, I regret I sold him so I could pay my fucking stupid rent. His mouth better light up. But, That's all I'm but, saying. But I had to pay my rent because mom is not fucking around anymore. Yeah. <laughs> my mom has the balls to tell me I need to pay for my old gas, so I have to sell my collection. What a bitch. And the whore had the balls to buy me an iPhone 5 instead of an iPhone 5S. <laughs> FML. FML. That you bitch know what? made me pay my cell phone bill. <laughs> What's hey, a job? Know, go ahead, Antoine. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? Ever since the masterpiece, uh, Will Jack was um, uh, announced and shown, all you see is third party companies making um, accessories for it now. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I was just about to say that. Was it like three of them or something? Yeah, Jack um, at it, doing what he does. But r- real quick, I, um, Justin, do you know is this the the guy that designed last year's stuff, or is this the new guy? Uh, it's my understanding that only one guy has been working on the cars, but I, I don't know if that's true or where I can confirm that. It's just something I've heard. I gotcha. Well, the, well, the um, new guy is the guy that did the first um, masterpiece right. figures. And he did um, it as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I was I was just curious because the the guy that did the I mean they're, they're both good, but just you know change makes me a little anxious. And if this was the new guy, at least I could take like a big sigh of relief, like fuck yes, it's still gonna be awesome. <laughs> I hate to ask, but who is getting this? I am. I am. I am not. I'll pre-order. Just kidding. It, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, mine's already paid for. It. <laughs> now this one will be one that I will not be getting the Marlboro whatever the repaint. You know, if 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 they give a knockoff for forty bucks, maybe, but. This particular, you know, I'm, I'm only interested in, which is nice. It's a nice change for Takara Masterpiece, but I'll, it looks like I'll only be interested in this character of this mold. Hey, uh, when is this podcast going to actually be online? Are we trying to shoot for tomorrow? Uh, I tried to, yeah, for the YouTube channel anyway. Okay, if it is Thursday or maybe Friday and you're listening to this, anime export for these two days left will have it for $44, but you have to pay for it up front. So, yeah, uh, really? Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Hey, can they do a recolor of uh, Marlboro? Can they put that on there? Supposedly. As long as uh, Marlboro, I think it is, isn't it? Like M A R B O O R or something. Uh, like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I don't. I mean, I'm sure Marlboro, the you know Philip Morris company, would be gr- love to have their shit posted <laughs> on the toy. <laughs> I just don't think the parents of the people buying this figure would be appreciative of that, especially right. nowadays. Because here in America, we sue for everything. <laughs> so well. From what I hear, and you know, usually what I hear is most, for the most part, accurate. Um, your sister, um, <laughs> Has, Hasbro and Takara, um, want to stay as far away from our moral borer as they possibly can because of the cigarettes. And to that effect, that's why labels doesn't make that, uh, that Marlboro set anymore because they, <laughs> Because if anything's gonna piss Hasbro off, because they're they're in that little thing where they can do whatever they want, and Hasbro doesn't really give a fuck about them. I don't know how they get away with it, but like they'll go after a, a, comp- a third party, but they won't really fuck with rubber labels. And they're like they won't even make that set anymore because they don't want to like push the bounds. So I think, I think rubber labels can kind of get away with it because they technically sell, help sell Hasbro. The figures, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. That, I mean, that's what made me rebuy my G1 Galvatron. So well, it's I, just, I mean, like nice selling set. the boys and stuff. Like yeah. selling the Autobots symbols and things. One thing I um, 
I, I want to say to those listening is that a lot of podcasts say, you know, it's, we're like a family here. We're like a family. Well, thanks to, to Matt's sister, we actually are all related now. Oh, that's right. Bob, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Every um, time so. I kissed her lips, I tasted <laughs> Skullface's dick. <laughs> I mean, oh, it was a hint of chocolate, but then I was like, oh, right, Antoine got that first because he just, he walked in the door and was like, uh, dude, where's the bathroom? And she was like, oh my god, I'm wet! You know, after Antoine got it, he said, said where's the bathroom? She just opened her mouth. Right? Hey, you know, after Antoine got it, none of y'all can do anything with her, you'll know that, right? Can... God, it was like a hot dog in the hallway, but I dealt with it, brother. I mean, <laughs> I'll say, there's a lot of girls that'll fuck all your friends, but not many of them will fly to do it, so. That's true. That's <laughs> right. Give her a clap. She's not a favorite. Oh, we, we gave her the clap all right. Don't worry about that. And now I have some, uh, some, some great news. Um, okay. We are about an hour in, which means we have a whole another hour to take care of these discussions, which is pretty fucking awesome. Which I, I have to let you guys know, you guys listen to this podcast, and my days on the Ozone of BKBN.net, as well as my one semester in college when I did do late night radio for the University of... of um, uh, Bucknell University out there in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. This is what they call flow. <laughs> this is good chemistry. This is consistency. You're not spending too long on one subject. It's just called flow. You're getting them knocked out and out of the way. So can so, I start drinking now? Is that all right? Yes, no. you may. <laughs> Within yeah. moderation, Gregory. Yeah. Let's not get you have to. Of the wind. Because because of the fact that Gregory has the place to himself for a whole week and he's living a bachelor life, you have to go outside your front porch in your underwear, wearing Ray Brands, going, I wear my sunglasses at night, and then whip your junk out, middle of the street, just urinate everywhere. I can't do that, man, because that involves wearing pants, and that's the rule of the week. There's no hey. wearing pants in this fucking house. The You're wearing underwear, are right? dogs are doing it. I'm not doing it. You know? Oh, no, gross. No pants, no reason. Yep, Fuck much. life. You've been shattered. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, let's go around. Uh, let's uh, let's start with you, Oscar. What are you most looking forward to this year that that uh, that you know is coming out? Well, will Jack aside, I am actually because of recent events and photographs and everything shown to me. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Not trying to be a fucking flip flopper here. I am honest to God, looking forward to TFC's Gumball. Nice. So I am. I am again. When I was a kid, I get nostalgic when I got, you know, Masterpiece Prowl. I got them because TFC announced they were going to be making this set, and it's like, this guy's going to look great with my Prowl. So I'm looking forward to it. And, yeah, it's going to lack some paint or stickers, whatever the case may be. People will do it, or someone will repaint it like fucking Justin and not give a shit. And then I'll look at it and go, hey, I could do that too. And then I'll do the same thing. So I'm looking forward to it, and I think it's going to be a, a healthy $100 invested. Nice. Um, Antoine, what about you, buddy? What, what's coming out this year that that you're most excited about? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the um to all the Warbound War War figures that's, that's coming out. <laughs> all the what? <laughs> the, the Warbatron. Warbatron, War of War War. course, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a fucking monster. I think I, like this is just my predictions, and they may be way off, but I have a feeling that Warbatron is gonna be a game changer. Like, yeah. I, I think when when they are when they are done raping the market. The market will have changed. I'm implied to agree. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. I think I've I've seen their their guys stand up their prototypes. And for first off, because I'm a fucking Comaticon fanboy. Me too. I like. Well, I'll admit, I became one the moment they were rumored to be in Fall of Cybertron. So I already had my G1 Comaticon set. I of course went out and bought Ruination. Of course, I was immensely butt hurt over the Hasbro release. This is gonna vindicate my love for Onslaught. It, although I will admit it's gonna be weird having a swindle without a fucking wannabe Megatron fusion cannon, but I'll get over it. What about you, uh, Greg? Well, um, I would say I'm looking forward to getting Diesel and finishing my uh, Minasaur, but I'm not 100 percent sure that's actually coming out this year. <laughs> hey, my, so, I uh, hit my bank account today. <laughs> oh, did it? Yep. Through who? TF oh, Source. TF Source. Yep. Oh, nice. That means that means BBTS is gonna be hitting money any day now. Yep. Nice. Nice. All right, pile of loot shipping soon. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, I am looking forward to finishing my Feral Rex. Um, I said that I wasn't going to do a Predaking just because, like, I get really scared about big combiners because, like, 
I don't want to get two thirds of it. You know what I mean? I don't want to be stuck and then like not be able to get one of the figures for some reason and have to pay like out the ass for it. But I bit the bullet and um, I got Bose and Fortis, and you know I think I slurred enough last week about how much I love them. So <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to getting uh, the generations uh, rat trap just to piss Justin off. <laughs> and me, you'd be pissing me off too. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna hate me. Mine's on its way. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Matt, what are you looking forward to, buddy? Um, I got what, I'm what, deluxe, like what deluxe has your name all over it? <laughs> well, I, I, mine's not gonna be a combiner, but I do agree with Oscar because I can't wait to put the pincer up and take one arm off uh, first day and uh, hold a train up while he's saving it. Y'all remember that episode? Yep. yep. So I want to do that, but um, I'm looking forward to. Hey, just a simple one. I'm looking for uh, Year of the Horse uh, Star Creed, which comes out next month. I know everybody hates that mold, but mold, but I like it. I mean, it's huge and it's a brick and it's going to be gold. So you know, it, it almost not, looks like G1. Kind not of. to sit here and and slap your left vagina lip while the other one just shakes violently, sweating out the moistness. But I, I, my beef with that figure is it's. I wasn't crazy about that Supreme Class Cybertron Starscream, and I'm sure as fuck not crazy about this one because it's decoed in G1 colors. It's the, it, absolutely it something that didn't need to be made, dude. And it really wasn't. Starscream, my favorite. So anything Starscream coming out this year, I'm all aboard. <laughs> Bless your little heart, man. I don't know. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm a punishment guy. You know, I, I wake up, Hasbro, come on. Quit fucking me in the ass. Let's it's go. so nice the way he just... Stands there and just admits that he likes pain. <laughs> Matt got on this podcast because we we knew when Greg and I started talking initially, we knew that he would be the one to champion for Hasbro. So you're doing eventually what you're it's gonna to do. eventually it's gonna be like all right, I'm done. <laughs> hey, hey, Matt. Yeah. Never change. <laughs> <laughs> it should have echoed. It would have worked. Never change. Never change. Never change. Um, oh, so, I just had a fucking. I'm sorry. I, I'd have to get this out. I just had a mental image uh, right then of Matt, um, Mister uh-huh. Arkansas, fucking <laughs> standing there with his fucking uh, his uh, year of the horse uh, star scream going. These colors don't run. <laughs> <laughs> As he busts off shots in the air. America, <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Uh, who's, uh, is it Justin? Yeah. yeah My turn. I am looking for the on-air suicide of Matt when he reviews the uh, <laughs> leader class Optimus Prime. <laughs> but, uh, no, more seriously, I am, and I wanted to kind of, I, I meant to mention this when we were talking about that Toy World Bumblebee. Uh, Fans Toys, Soria, or Scoria, or whatever. Oh, the, yeah, uh, yeah, Matt, MP Slag, yeah. Yeah, yep. and going okay. back to that Toy World real quick. <laughs> Look at this. Fans Toys was making Soundwave, and it got announced, and they said, well, fuck it, scrapped it, and then turned around and made a freaking awesome Shockwave. Like, yeah, that is correct. No excuse, Toy World. Uh-huh. My, my only complaint about that is that is that they got so scared they didn't do the blaster either. <laughs> 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 and I could have really gone for their blaster. Um, you know, fans Toys is, uh, like... They're out for blood. Like they're not, they're not going for blood characters. You're not seeing mind wipe out of, out of fans' toys. You know, they. I guess they know that their shit is going to be expensive, so they're going for those names that you're like, "Fuck, I cannot live without this fucking." Thing. I need to have it. Yeah, yep. exactly. Yep. I um. I would. I would have said slag to the the fans' toy slag. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why I didn't. I'm getting him. He's pre-ordered. He's blood and paid for. No <laughs> The reason why I don't have them as my number one is because I think having two Dinobots on my shelf is almost going to make it more painful than just having one. No, I can understand that. I get that. You know, yeah. The other three. Um, I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to. And um, who's who's working on a custom? Who's doing some yard work? <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, the, the the thing I'm looking forward to the most is after seeing Warpatron, like all the the, the prototypes and stuff like that and to know that they are doing Minasaur next and I know we're fresh off this fans project thing but I am a Stunicon fanboy more than a fanboy of any other thing in Transformers and um, 
to have masterpiece esque scale stunicons is is just a, like if I don't want to die before that shit comes out. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna like eat healthier. Bobby's gonna stop saying certain things, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, like I, I'm gonna like change some of my habits just so I can live long enough to see fucking, you know, that on a concept. I, I've actually I've heard that you actually uh, agree that the masterpiece Ultra Magnus is gonna be a fantastic toy. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I don't I don't want any problems. <laughs> <laughs> but, it will um, be perfect. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm looking. Um, yeah, but how are you gonna do that though? Is it gonna be is it gonna is it all gonna be one set or uh, an add on? The the Warbitron is gonna be it, the, no, it's a, for the, it's, um, it's, oh the Ultra Magnus is gonna be add on. Oh, uh, how are you gonna do that? <laughs> they're, I mean, they'll, they'll release. They're, I mean, it'll be like I mean, it won't be an add on, just the add on. It'll be a, a repaint of MP10. Uh, yeah, with with, with, your, armor, yep. with a new trailer yeah. that transforms. Yeah. Um. But that's that's what we're theorizing anyway. The uh now the next question is uh what's on your wish list that hasn't been announced or what's what's a prediction? And we'll we'll go back around and ask. Well, Oscar. A- Antoine hasn't uh said what he's looking forward to this year. He didn't? No. Nope. No. I did. Yeah, his middle, his last name is, you did when? I said what was your name? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I am yeah, so yeah. sorry. Yeah. I, 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 wrote, I wrote it I wrote it the fuck <laughs> down like the the list I was like uh, Craig knows I like to uh, make lists. <laughs> Um, I, so, I what has been ahead. announced? What's on my wish list that hasn't been announced this year? I, honest to God, would um, like to see a third party company, and I'm probably going to catch some flack here. Actually, attempt to tackle the Sia cons. Mm. I don't know why. I have the the BBTS set. You know, I got it when it was on sale for like thirty five bucks, and. And I, and it's a G1 and I'm in love with it, but I would like to see a modern day take on it from a third party company, uh, like TFC, for example. You know, I'd like to see them do all six of them so where Overbite turns into a gun. Yeah. You know, and I would like to see this, I would like to see this happen. I think I would, I would be really excited over it. Yep. You know, um. What about you, uh, Antoine? Um, how about a Galvatron? A, either, either Masterpiece or a decent size, um, Classic size version of Galvatron or something. You don't think like, the Mania like, one is decent classic size? I mean, that's great, you know, but eh, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it anyway. But it's not, right. it's not perfect. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I went back on my own word, and I want to confess. I, Oscar Alonso, on a vlog and on this show last week, stated how unique toys make shit. And I was asked if I would like to pre-order it when he gets it in. I would receive it. I have gone right on ahead and paid full blown for Unique Toys Mania King. Wow. Same here. Yes. So okay. I, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking, but I think because I'm watching P. Oz re- review of it, and then the closest thing I have to a supposed cartoon or comic book accurate version of them is my G1 brick with a fucking orange penis. At least I should own one that looks like the IDW counterpart with an orange and white penis. So I'm sorry, well, I, I had to do it. My um, you know, to to quote Greg from Mercy, who came up with this phrase last week, that is now like a standard <laughs> issue phrase for me. Uh, I don't scale like that, but uh, <laughs> but I, I I do think that if if I was a classics guy, I'd be all over that fucking thing. There, you know, there'd be there'd be no question. I, I he'd be mine. Um, I just, I just don't have a spot for him. I I don't think he looks terrible. I, my only criticism, like just looking at it from like a you know, from an outside perspective, is uh, the calves look a little meh to me. Like, yeah. they, don't, they don't look like powerful. They don't look like you know, like a boss. But uh, <laughs> but you know, it's it, it, it'll do. I, I I think that I think like that from the waist up. I think it looks fucking pretty spot on. And after I got those shark decons, I'm 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 starting to come around on unique toys a little bit. It's a it's a slow it's a slow turn. We're talking a twenty mile per hour warning turn. But it's a, uh, but it is a turn that I'm entering. Right. Um, I mean, at least they improve each year they make. At least they improve. Right. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. And 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 to go with Antoine, if, if there was a masterpiece Galvatron announced this year, um, that would be a pretty big fucking deal. Yep. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, Greg, what about you, buddy? What are you looking forward to? Um. What are you, what are you well, predicting? It's not going to happen, but you know. Riding on that, um, the Galvatron thing, I would like to see some, uh, some move of 
um, so in the what? masterpiece line. It's a movie love. Oh, okay. Like not the movie, the the actual the film, not the not the movies, the actual the masterpiece film Transformers. Um, I'd like to see a Cyclonus, a Galvatron, and a Scourge. Ah, uh, the big um, three. They haven't. Well, they haven't put out any fucking Decepticons and Masterpiece since Soundwave. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I, I'd like to see a little balance love there for the bad guy. Um, I'd also like to see a decent wheelie. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm afraid my, my, my only fear with Masterpiece right now is that with this kind of, you know, new-ish Masterpiece scale that they're gonna run through those fucking Seekers again. And I just don't know if I have it in me to get a whole nother set. Oh, that's gonna be mine. I was hoping for the Coneheads. You know, if we're gonna, yeah, you know, right. but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying if they, if they do Masterpiece Seekers that are like the size of Prowl. Oh, that I don't would be think they're gonna do that. Huh? I don't think that's gonna happen. I hope not. You, you're hope you kind of are getting that with the eye gear air con set. I mean, true. So I mean, but those are more they they more represent the IDW look of the series. Yeah, yeah. I'm, that's just a fear. Like I'm afraid that that you know instead of getting like a new masterpiece Decepticon like character, that they'll fucking you know go with that money in the bank mentality and pump through some fucking seekers again. But Matt, what is on your uh what are you predicting? You well predict? I said um if they would do the same you know, I would like to see the Coneheads be made for Masterpiece. Mm-hmm. Um I would also like to see the maybe the Terracons. Mm-hmm. Bominus maybe, you know, some there um but third party do them. But maybe that'd be pretty cool. Or maybe I know they're doing the Technobots that show some picture and everything, but I'm looking forward to them. Those, those, two those look fucking sick. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah. They do. No, it's alright. I mean, them two together, if they make, you know, combiners around that, the same time, you know, they're always fighting, you know, in the yeah. G1 car. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. I would like them. They would be, and they'd probably be like a Hercules size. Maybe a little smaller. Right. But that'd be pretty cool. And, uh, Justin. Uh, Masterpiece Jazz. That is my yeah. number one one. That's your, yeah. that, that, I gotcha. I, 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 like, I, like, I think it's like the logical character choice. I'm just afraid that the the repaint value they're not going to get there. Their money's worth, so we're going to wait forever on it. That's my only fear. That's yep. that's my fear too. But I'm hoping that with the fact that they're doing Wheeljack, they've got yeah. you know like smokescreen. Well, I'm not sure how the the licensing went for a racing Nissan if they had any exterior costs besides just Nissan, um, and then. Supposedly Bumblebee who's coming, which is, you know, freaking talking to the Germans has been impossible from what they've said before. Like, uh, now here it is. And so we've got two race cars and we've got a German car and it jazzes both, you know? <laughs> um, here's a question for you guys. Do you think with the, with how, uh, how, um, Will Jack is being made, we're going to get a sense trigger? Oof. Technically, I, we we kind of got him with that tiger tracks. Uh, oh, no. uh, I, I, Sunstreaker needs his own thing. <laughs> I'm I, sorry. I, re- I remember way back when Sideswipe came out. Uh, one good. of the uh, the designers said he would rather uh, actually make a legitimate Sunstreaker. Uh, I remember him saying that, but uh, that yeah, would, who knows if that's awesome. going to happen? Yeah, I um, <clears throat> I I just I, you know. I think if, if Wheeljack does really well, you know, they might go, um, you know, they might go, I'm, I'm fucking reading the notes, mom. Uh, but if, if Wheeljack does really well, they might do more, you know, single shot type deals. But, uh, you know, if Wheeljack doesn't do well, I think you're gonna see them start doing the Inferno grapple bit, the hoist the trail breaker bit. The... Well, you know, here's the thing though. I'm okay with them doing, you know, ones we can get multiple repaints out of, then one we can't. Then one we can get multiple, like, you know, and, uh, grapple and Inferno. Do them sure. next to pay sure. for Jazz. Yes. And absolutely. then do, uh, you know, uh, Ironhide and Ratchet. And then yeah. with that make Hound or whatever, you know? Yes, absolutely, absolutely, I'm with you. Um, what I am uh, predicting this year is I am predicting uh, Terracons. Um, I'm with uh, I'm with old Deluxe on this one. I'm, I'm predicting a Terracon set by a by a third party company. Um, 
And I think around December, like winter time, we'll get an announcement of a, a new Decepticon masterpiece, you know, for next year. Uh, but that, that's my predictions. So, <clears throat> which brings us to the, the big, the big. Can I say one more? Yes, Sorry. absolutely. Can I say, do you think that they might announce, um, since Metroplex did pretty decent, you think Triptychon or maybe Scorponaut maybe? For Hasbro? For like the regular generations? Yeah. Um, you think you know, maybe they... I, I, don't, I don't know. I, like, I want to see numbers on that Metroplex because like I, okay. I, like I hear Greg, like the Greg, Greg stores, like they can't keep that fucking Metroplex in the store. You know, they're flying right. off the shelves. It's the same I, thing with mine. Um, every time they've had, time, they've had up to four out on the floor and, I've come back like maybe the next day and they're gone. Same thing with Columbia yeah. and uh, you know where where fucking where Mega lives, where, where Antoine lives. It's like it's about forty five minutes east of me, and uh, we got four Metroplexes when they first came in in my Toys R Us, and we have two now, and we've had like two flew off the shelves, obviously from collectors, like when they when they hit the store, and right. then uh, the two that we have. We have had since Black Friday. So wow. They, they're not moving at all where I'm at. Hey, bro, let's work something out. I want one. Oh, dude. There's <laughs> nothing. Just, you know, any, if anybody's listening or anybody wants one, I'll pick him up. That try. One thing I can assure you is that it ain't going anywhere. <laughs> but, um, which brings us to uh, I, I think it would be uh, – I think if it does well um, – then we'll then we'll probably see another big one. I mean, Toy Fair is right around the corner. That's obviously going to be a big show. Um, you know, uh, you know, both for the toy industry and, and for Shattercast, and uh, you know, and, and we'll see, man. I, I I wouldn't be opposed to it. I, I hope they fix. You know, with them making the first figure of that size, you know, I hope they they learned a few a few lessons because I have some right. major major criticisms of that figure. Yeah. But um, I wanted to get to this because we didn't get to it last week when it was when it was maybe a little bit more relevant. Um, and we're not going to bash anybody on here or say any names. But it is a kind of a controversial topic, and um, it has to do with women in the fandom, uh, kind of with women knowing how to act and with the fans knowing how to act. And, uh, you know, basically I, I think that maybe Antoine should take the reins on introducing, like, what went down. Antoine, if you could do this without saying any anybody's name, without singling anybody out. Uh, well, basically, it's, um, the whole, well, it's a new girl in the, in the page. She shows up a whole trans, she shows up for collection, and it's all of a sudden she gets like 80 likes and 80 comments. <laughs> and like, <laughs> and like, That's after that, true. you know, they, and after that, they blew up, they blew up her page, and, uh, you know, say all, all kind of outlandish stuff. Instead of focusing on her collection. Let me interrupt for just a second. Anybody on this podcast could do like the, the the like Oscar could do some like the you know beautiful animation with like the best fucking you know jokes that you've heard to go alongside it. T two R X six could come up with the best fucking fix ever. You know we could come up with pictures of our collection. I, I could draw something. It doesn't matter. We could post it on one of these pages and get twelve likes. Exactly. And and and, and, and two comments. But you know these you know a uh-huh. young lady who is uh. You know, isn't necessarily mall hot. I'm not saying that this this one isn't. This is just a general. But you know, she wouldn't stop you in the, in your tracks at the club or in a mall. But on a Transformers forum, she fucking shuts uh, the whole show down. You know, what you like, see how many um, she got? You know, when she said she was leaving, did you see how many people uh, commented on that? And I'm like, you know what? If a guy would have said, "Hey, I'm done. I've been, you know, I don't feel my feelings have been hurt and everything. I'm leaving the fandom." Do you know how many people have been like, "All right." So here's the thing is, is, is that, you know, people, I guess the fans got a little like aggressive, like in a little, not, not like physically aggressive, obviously, because it's the goddamn interweb and probably right. half of them don't know how to fucking talk. Um, <laughs> but, you know, they, they got a little forward, uh, with her and messages or whatever, comments, what have you. And she said enough's enough and walked away. Um, so without, you know, speaking too much specifically about them, without about that, you know, personal situation, just in a general sense. Essentially, no name dropping. 
right. What are we? What? Are, how are we feeling about this? You know what? As a YouTube reviewer, I have desperately wanted to exploit this personally. Like I've been like trying to get my girlfriend to start reviewing things, and you know, those people yeah. get more subs than me so much quicker. Of course, there's an established <laughs> female uh, reviewer that does do Transformers. We won't say her name. Um, yeah. She she has a, a pretty dedicated following, but in the end, you know, it's like when they're new to the, you know, and and this young lady when I remember seeing her first like f- photo I ever saw her post was of her saying, you know, hey, it's it's this is my first blah blah blah. And the shit got like 75 likes and like 120 fucking comments, you know, and I, I, I can't even begin. It's kind of like they try their best to be that I'll be really nice and she'll notice me. And the one thing I got to get off my fucking chest here regarding this issue, and I'm sorry to cut you off, Justin. I really am. I just have to get this off my chest is the fact that the matter is if you you see a woman like this join a group. She's very you find her attractive, whatever the case may be. You friend request her on her Facebook page, she accepts your friend request. Because she's attractive to you, you're gonna go ahead and freaking creep her fucking Facebook page. You're gonna see she's married, you're gonna see she has children, you're gonna see she's gay whatever the case may be, dude. It's the internet. There ha there ha you have got to have some serious fucking swag online to make this individual go. I'm going to leave the life I have and go be with Supertron 2564 from the group. Antoine, Antoine, how many times has this worked for you that you just like, hello? And they're like, well, fuck it, I'm done. I'm done. Once you go black, you never go back. (laughs) But I mean, like, and that's what, like, a lot of these guys... And, you know, obviously I was younger. I had this same type of mentality. You know, you go to a comic book forum and then, like, you find out there's a female fan. So instantly you're like, oh, my fucking God, is she hot? Oh, my God, if I'm nice, maybe she'll let me fuck her. Even though she lives in California and I was in New Jersey at the time. And that's basically their mindset. But what happens is these guys get rejected. And I'm not, and I don't know if she was, you know, I'm, I'm sure she had rejected a few guys. I don't know if she was malicious with her fucking rejection or not. I can't say that or not. I can't say that or anything, but some of these guys can't handle rejection well. So instantly they go into, oh, she turned me down. She's totally a fucking whore. You know, and what really upset me about this whole situation was she left. She was upset with what happened. She left. Some jerk off posted a fucking that, uh, you ever see that office board meme? You know, where like the boss is like, hey, we need an idea for this. And they have two guys that give some really lame answers. And then the one guy who gives right. a painfully obvious answer, the boss looks at him and throws him out of the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, they did that, and basically the the painfully obvious answer was, well, maybe she just posts pictures on uh, these Transformers groups just to get attention and likes. And it's like, well, why the fuck do you post pictures on there? Right. For the right. same I, fucking I, thing. I, I, I agree with you, but at the, at the same time, I'm just, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Um, right, right. <clears throat> but, um, you know, here's the thing. Like I, I have respect for women. It's you know, it's not the type of party. I have I have two daughters. You know, like uh, I'm I'm on the level. But one of the things I will I will be talking to my daughters about when they start reaching that age, when they start fucking around on the goddamn interweb, and I can't keep my fucking tabs on them like I need to, is that you know if if you hang, you know if if. What, what what did uh, Cat Williams say about you know like a lot of a lot of a lot of men will have like different soaps and shit in their house because women like soaps and smelling nice. So Michael Jackson had like a Ferris wheel, so kids started showing up at Michael Jackson's house and you know <laughs> and 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 on and on. And like if you are in a, let's face it, this is a nerd thing, you know, and a, and a lot of nerds are social outcasts, or exactly. you've never been accepted, don't have don't have the social skills, don't know how to talk to women, may have never even you know been with a woman in in any way, shape or um, when they see a woman presenting herself, you know, in a somewhat provocative way with, with, you know, so that's like their, for, you know, the thing they've never had next to their fucking classics prime, which is, you know, their second most favorite thing in the world. Um, you know, it's going, to, I would assume that, that this, that this young lady would know that it's going to, it's going to garner some sort of a reaction, you know, and it, it I'm not saying that that the fanboys are are right. I'm saying that they're wrong. I'm just saying it shouldn't come as a shock. I'm with you. Um, And I actually, 
two things. I actually hate women and have no respect for them whatsoever. <laughs> um, second, no, I'm kidding. Um, this girl in question, actually, if you'll remember, I'm actually the one that's talked to her and reached out to her because we were going to talk about this last week. Correct. Um, and her, what she told me, and uh, hey, hey you, I'm not going to use your name, but hi. Hi. Hey. Um, bragging alert. Hey. Bragging alert. Hi. Bragging alert. She's, no, she, uh, I, I, you know, I told her, uh, I told her my viewpoint that like, and it's what Bobby just said. I mean, they're fucking nerds. They don't know how to talk to women. They, they, they just, just go, oh, God, and she, you know, like, I, I don't care. I'm happily involved, uh, with someone. But anyway, she said that, uh, you know, she gets out everywhere she goes and blah, 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 blah. She said it seems like it's worse than the Transformer groups. But then you start looking through, well, yeah. But there's another lady, another young lady that's just started showing up. Um, she, uh, Jesus. what the fuck? I'm breaking stuff in my house. Did like. you fall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I far, so far up, tonight, lately. Justin has had a bag of Funyuns. Oh, he is. Worked on a custom and now he's breaking it to pieces. He is like furious because I, I, I cut him I, off. I, I, I said sorry. I'm not the custom person. Hit your uh, laugh man. alert, man. Don't forget your laugh alert. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get it, but it just broke off. Didn't you just hear it? Come on. All right, go ahead, Greg. Go ahead, Greg. Drop um, his jitterbug cell phone. Sorry. I, um, I am in a position where I admin toy groups and one thing that uh they get like fake profiles in to like sell shit is posting pictures of cute girls so that's kind of a rule that we have that we always if you see a cute girl it's probably not for real and so i go through these girls profiles and i check them out to make sure they're not selling fucking ray bands or or knockoff ray hyphen band right um (laughs) and you see these girls pictures and yeah they have their collection but their whole Holding their fucking masterpiece Optimus Prime fucking in front of their tits. Right. You know what I mean? Or like, they're laying in bed with their fucking, their, their toys. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're trying to be sexy. Right. And some are doing a better job than others. And it's like that thing where it's kind of, I mean, you don't want to be the guy that said, well, she got raped because she was dressed like that. Right. But exactly. At the exactly. same time, she kind of put herself out there. I think it's an equal responsibility. I think it's equal fault on both sides. Um, I think the nerds need to learn how to handle themselves a little better. It's funny um, but me, at the same time. It's, it just cut you off real quick. It's, it's funny to me that, that she said uh, that it's worse than the Transformer groups because, like, like, like I, I've said it, like, countless times. Like, of all the conventions I've been to, you know, it is the nerdiest of the nerdy motherfuckers that show up at the Transformer convention. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like if you go to a comic book convention, it gets worse like, every year. Like, I guess comic books like hit like a uh, like just a wider fan base. You know what I mean? Like, some people are just fans of the movies, or some people are just fans mm-hmm. of the toys. Some people read the books. Some people are into the old school shit. Some people are into the new school shit. Whatever. But Transformers fans all into the same shit, and it just funnels them right into like the the nerd emporium, and. It's, would, oh, what? would you say that the Transformers fandom is kind of like an red family? Yeah, and you know, like when, when you get right down to it, it's like a small high school where everyone's yep. fucked each other. Yep, because you sell each other shit, you know, and yep. all this other stuff. <laughs> That's so true. You know, it's so true. Yeah. Like, there's people like, when I went to TFCon, which was a great time. You know, as opposed to when I went to BotCon, and I was just like, man, these nerds are 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 nerdy and not cool. Um, Whereas, like, at TFCon, a lot of those guys were nerdy and cool, which was awesome. But that's the type of nerd I'm into. Um, but at any rate, when I went there, like, a lot of those guys, like, you know, they, you know, like, it would be like, hey, man, you know, what are you into? Da, 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 da. And, uh, hey, what's your handle on TFW? <laughs> and then they'd be like, oh, you're that motherfucker. Like, you know, so it's obviously, like, a very small <laughs> oh, world right, when, like, so that fandom. Um, and, when and you go to BotCon, it's the same way. I mean, it's just... You, 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 you question your, your fandom. Like, you're like, do I really want to be associated with some of these people? Cause I mean, I'm just like, holy shit, I'm a nerd, but god dang. <laughs> yeah. There are some just I mean, sad motherfuckers. I, I'm, man. I'm curious actually to hear because I was a rude, disrespectful bastard. I cut you off, Justin. I'm curious to hear what you were finishing on, on saying. You were talking about exploiting it by having your girlfriend do a review. Uh, well yeah, I mean, who doesn't want that? That's an easy way to make money. But, <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, like, I, I totally agree with, you know, like, what Bobby's saying is, like, look, I've seen that there has been other girls who have passed through the, you know, the the ranks of nerddom there, and, uh, you know, I haven't seen anything popping up in 
they don't seem to complain about this problem. And I, I, I just think that, yes, the, the, the male fandom is wrong with how they're acting, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's put out there. You're, you're flaunting it out there. So, of course, it's gonna spark a reaction. It's gonna spark a reaction on, you know, any type of venue out there. So, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it is, it, it, it needs to be handled, but at the same time, I don't think anyone should be surprised that it, that it's occurred. So, uh, now, I think it what? needs to be handled. Are you referring to the situation or the female fandom? The, the whole, the Which whole situation. I think, like, you know, the, 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 Male fans and, 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 you know, Transformers is so, well, yeah, no, but, <laughs> but the whole thing is like, you know, with the Transformers fans, like you got, you've got people of all various ages on there. Like how many people are on there that are like freaking like 13, you know, like 12, like just reaching, you know, puberty and absolutely haven't touched anybody, you know? So like, you're like, whoa, hot girl. You know, unless like, they're in Japan and they're 13 and they're able to fly a billion dollar <laughs> fucking mobile suit. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like, uh, I'm sorry, but you're posting softcore porn on, uh, a TFA or whatever, and no wonder people are gonna go ahead and give you, you know, they're gonna go ahead and start messaging you, like. Yeah, like, like, like. Fucking you know, Macy's catalog here for something, you know. <laughs> some, some guy told me, like, uh, you know, a long time ago, when it came to, like, you know, my, in my professional, like, in my, in my, you know, my, my career life, my professional life, um, is just know your audience, you know, and that's like, that's like some great advice. And here's like a lot of women and, uh, you know, I'm trying to be careful what I say because I, I don't want to come across the wrong way, but like, you know, women like to be told they look good and they, 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 they're attractive and that they're sexy and whatever. And they, you know, they buy clothes to accentuate that. They buy makeup to accentuate that. It's all like culturally and socially wrapped up together. It's just to validate their, their, so, their personal sense of beauty. Yeah. Right. So, so like it, it seems like, it, you know, it makes sense that, that, uh, a, a, a person would take sexy pictures with their toys if they were into toys and into that. Uh, you know, like it seems like it's, it doesn't seem like a stretch at the same time though. You know, know your audience. Like, you know, like, you know, all of us know, uh, know plenty of people that, that definitely, uh, wouldn't know how to act, you know, dealing with a woman, you know, especially, uh, you know, uh, I'm waiting for everybody to get that without The only woman allowed in my house is one I have to pay to touch. That fucking free will shit. Fuck this, or man. My mama. Oh, and your yeah. mom. Yeah, uh, my mom. mom's got some supple thighs. Mmm, 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 delicious. But you know, I do, I do, I'm, I, real quick, Jess, I, I do sympathize with her. Um, you know, I, I have two daughters. I have a, I have a wife that I adore. You know, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not into disrespecting women. I, I don't say shit like my old lady and all that. Like, my wife is the most important person in this world to me. Um, However, like I, I just I, I sympathize with her because she had to deal with it, but I also that there wasn't somebody that, without without sounding personal, like that she didn't fucking know better, you know. And and maybe that's that's because like yeah. you know, she hasn't dealt with this type of nerd before, or or maybe that's because there's been nobody there behind the scenes to say like uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Like look at the names of these motherfuckers, um, you know. Like look how many of them don't have pictures of themselves on their profile because they rather just. They'd rather hide who they are. Just put a picture of like, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, you mean like uh, Rapetron Prime and uh... <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I, I Penetration sorry, Maximus Supreme? Like, like I'm sure that we all have like trolled or like, you know, you know, uh, what are they called? Stalked? Like people, are like man, who? Like somebody gets on your nerves on one of the boards. And you're like, man, who is this motherfucker? And then you go and then you start going through their profile pictures. You finally find a picture of him, and you're like, oh, no wonder. He's like, wow, look at that face. It's like a pepperoni pizza <laughs> shit all over it. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, I, I got, I got, yeah. I got one thing to say. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hey, Lisa, get in the kitchen. Make me a pot pie. Okay. She didn't like that. <laughs> Yeah. It actually ends up causing the divorce. It started as like a personal yeah. joke. But she just looked at me like, I'm going to fuck you. Just shit snowballed the, your own personal disaster. <laughs> if, uh, uh, <laughs> if because there wasn't some dude from Sweden trying to say one fucking thing, that's why she didn't reply. <laughs> if Holson was here trying to say some shit, she'd be like, Matt, <laughs> fuck you, son of a bitch. Shout out. Make your own goddamn pie. I oh, want to fuck that Swedish like heartthrob with his man survivor beard and 
and snow background. Mmm, delicious. I actually learned something about Holson this week because uh, not to crack uh, walnuts by your computer keyboard. <laughs> that, that, too, but yeah. <laughs> that he joined Facebook, uh, so like I'm interacting with him a bit more, and like his like his like one shot sentence of like uh, perfection, it translates into interweb as well like it's it's not just reserved for like uh verbal interactions like when he'll he'll like comment on something i say and it's always like a, a little jewel of like uh you know it's got like a double entendre in it and it also makes like a super valid point oh god um, yeah i love me some holston who does? i was actually disappointed because uh he uh applied for the cafe and i you know let him in this morning and I posted, hi, Holson, and I was expecting a hello, and I got an actual, like, multiple sentence, like, <laughs> articulate fucking thing. I was like, what the fuck? That's not what I want. <laughs> good good morrow, Gregory. It's been some time since we last spoke on the last interaction yeah. on the internet, on the interweb. <laughs> no, I actually, I'll tell you guys, I, uh, I told my girlfriend about this problem. I've been dating her about a year and a half, and, you know, and, you know, she does, she, like, she tries her best to get my fandom, you know, like, she doesn't look down on me, like, obviously if she did, she wouldn't date my ass, you know, but I was trying to explain to her the situation and what happened, and basically she said the same thing Bobby said, she's like, you know, you can't take a photograph or or anything that's remotely kind of sexual and not expect to get some sort of feedback in that nature, you know, like, for example, when Greg got me Sandstorm from his TRU, when he came in the mail, I told her, babe, you know, pop up some cleavage, I gotta take a photo, send this to a friend. <laughs> and, and and she she sat there and she like gave me this dirty ass look and she goes it better be just to your fucking friend I was like okay <laughs> all right that's fine you know and I sent it to Greg I don't know if you remember that's that photograph keeper, Greg that's a keeper <clears throat> you know oh the, the keeper the keeper is the one that she bought me all the crazy Debbie add-ons for my freaking Predaking dude the exception of the wings and the sword you know but that that like that's her trying to understand my hobby my love for this franchise and how like I had this weird view about this incident going on and she tried to shed some light because she's a girl. Although she thinks the first thing she wouldn't do is take a awkward downward angle photograph of herself wearing a shirt that emphasized her breasts, if anything. Right. Yeah. You know, we get it. That Autobot logo stretch is lovely, but there's no need to continue on with that. <laughs> and Justin, I, I was just about to say that. Hey, does anybody, does anybody have the Optimus Prime mask? Nope. No. 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 You I, do? I, I, I try to get my... <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine that. Give it to me. What is <laughs> At any cost, I'm <laughs> not done. <laughs> <Spoils for it. laughs> Baby. Oh, she's not even listening to me now. She's done. I'm, 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 I'm in trouble already, probably. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever. Actually, real quick, I, I know I'm cutting off someone who's trying to give someone a shot that they cut off, but let me just throw this out there just because it seems like it fits. Um, we've had some interaction with some people on the Facebook page, and um, you know, and I appreciate that. But there was a comment, and I can't remember the guy's name. It starts with an A. Um, I can't remember your name, but there was a comment that the guy said he sat down and he was listening to the show, and he said his wife was in the room for about three minutes. Oh, he's trying to get her to leave for and five years, like, and we did. No, he was like, he was like. She's just like, I can't take this anymore. And he said she just got up and walked out. And he said that we did in three minutes what he's been trying to do in like 15 years. And that's get rid of his fucking wife. There you go. We, we, uh, we try not to show off here at Shattered Cast, uh, but we turn away women faster than shit. You know it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Justin, I cut yes, you off like a half hour ago. I know. But we love uh, you. I was uh more like, you know, just like general Facebook, like outside of anything Transformers related, when I go through my friends list and I look at, you know, the the, the people on my friends list they're posting, you know, fairly risque pictures of themselves. Uh -huh. They're the ones who are getting the like, oh my God, you're so hot and blah, blah, right. blah, regardless of what they look like. Whereas the girls who are, you know, honestly, I think if you put it to a poll would be voted much prettier who aren't doing this, aren't having that problem on their profile, exactly. you know, like, right. so, I mean, and there are, uh, there are females, keep your clothes on, that's all I'm saying, <laughs> there are You're females, there are female members of said groups that we just mentioned, that just post the stuff they bought, 
You know, yeah. I think the worst case you see him is like, hey, check out this new sweater or this new zip up I got, you know. That's it. There's, there's nothing remotely sexual like that. But at the same time, dude, it's like, it, this, this conversation needs to be had because some of these kids need to know that in the long run and, you know, in the real world where, you know, your comments actually fucking matter and you can get yourself in trouble, killed, fucking fired, whatever the case may be, this shit doesn't fly. Yeah. You know, you can't... Well, absolutely. 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 Sure. But, on the same People. hand, on the same hand, you know, picture is floating around to yourself hanging out in underwear or, you know, exposing and, like, wearing vir- virtually nothing, you know, that downward shot you're talking about, yep. you know, everything hanging out. Probably also not really, you know, appreciated by employers and such. Sure. So, you know, I, like, I just want to go, I just want to jump in for a second and disagree with all of you and just say, me personally, I I want all the young ladies that are uh, attractive young ladies to continue to post pictures of themselves wearing next to nothing on these boards because it gives me a nice break <laughs> and I'm not going to harass you. I just enjoy I just enjoy the quick click of uh let me let me make that picture bigger on the screen. Okay, that'll do. You know, <laughs> thumb up and then I, and then I move on. I I I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. You can actually uh put the picture uh, the fucking toy off the bed and just you know. Or, or off the whatever that you're on and just take a picture of yourself. It's just a nice breakup from like the other, the other fucking geeks that are like, oh, I got the brand new, uh, movie Megatron. You know, I, like, I'm okay with, with the, with the little break. Um, just know that I'm, while I am not going to harass you, there are plenty of people that are. So if you, if you, if you, if you don't want to do the, if you don't want to deal with the harassment bitch, which I, which I also completely sympathize and understand with, probably not the, you know, know your audience type. B- Bobby, I'm with you. And I also just want to add that I just think that it's pretty naive. Like, I, I don't know. I don't even think it's naive. I just think that you, like, these pictures get posted knowing full well how someone's going to treat the situation. Right. And then, you know, maybe it was more reaction than you expected and, and you're like whoa whoa you know, you know it sucks that but, they gotta deal with it you know it sucks that it is gonna get treated that way as opposed to you know yeah. the, the mature older fellow maybe like myself that would just you know appreciate and move on right right, right. but i um, think right, they're posted right. full well knowing that that's the type of reaction you're 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 aiming to get right so. i also um employers will look at your facebook sometimes they can't get into them and they will not hire you some if you have a bunch of some stuff for, stuff on yeah there. some Just like uh, my job for example you know. they make you sign a waiver where you give them permission to look into your facebook and uh, and basically you know part of their part of their final decision on hiring you for that job or not is you know what you it is you have on fa- i had to do that with my job i've been had now for over 2 years they checked out i had to disclose the fact that i had a youtube channel Yep. You know, yep. and I had to let them know that this is what I do on YouTube. You know, I do cartoons. They're kind of a little racy, you know. Um, but all basically what in, in, in what some employers will ask you to do is like, Hey, we, we see you got a YouTube channel. Like they'll go to Justin. Justin, you have a toy review show. We ask you don't mention the company at all. Right. 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 You know, in my and case, they're like, don't mention the, this place at all. You'll never hear me say my job's <laughs> fucking sure. name off the hand on this podcast ever because I could be terminated for that. Right, mine too. You know, and, and 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 on top of all this, learn the freaking Facebook privacy settings. Yep. Like you can stop yep. anybody who's not your friend from seeing more than what's your profile picture. Exactly. Yep. You know, so set all that stuff, and you can still interact with the group. And guess what? The only things they're gonna see are you know what you show what they what you show them, and anything they send you gets filtered to the quote unquote other messages. And who the hell knew there's an other messages folder? You know, like you probably yeah, don't even realize it. Yeah. There's a bunch of people who are could be messaging you, and you don't get it. Like I have TF Source messaging me all the time, but since I'm not quote unquote friends with them on Facebook, I don't see it at all. Hmm. So, <laughs> um. So anyway, we we wanted to, to just, to just mm, let me snap the rubber band on my uh, wrist that makes me stop stuttering. Um, we wanted to to talk about that because there's something going on in the community. I think it was uh. That Greg that had the idea that we should really discuss things going on in the, in the community, uh, fan community, because he's, you know, he's, we're all super active in it, but, you know, he's more active than most. And, uh, I think, so we definitely wanted to active, discuss. Uh, he means a troll, but anyway. Right. Yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> and if, I, if, I've suffered from it firsthand today. I, I think if anyone on this podcast can agree, uh, th- to be honest, guys like me and Greg get really into some of these discussions sometimes. Yep. You know, with people, um, there's a few times Greg's trolled me, you know, at the end of the day, I'll still rub his back here, let him know he's my baby. But, you know, <laughs> in, in, in the end, you know, guys like Greg and myself that really get into these discussions, 
you know, we have to, like, address this stuff. There's stuff I wanted to cover, but I'm going to leave it be for now. We discussed that on our uh, group chat there. And and because it's for the best at the moment, you know, right. until I see it get really, really bad again. <laughs> you know, I'm all, all I'm saying is, man, not everyone's going to agree with what you say. And because someone makes fun of you, don't go running. That's all I'm saying. We all, we all are, uh, uh, well, not all, like, you know, like, Matt's a pretty chill guy. Um, Antoine's voice is too deep to get all aggressive. He's got to be laid back. It's in his d- DNA makeup. But there's a lot of, like, uh, <laughs> type A forceful personalities on this podcast. Yep. So we all try to double check each other and keep the, keep the reins on everybody so that, that nobody. Although, although I do have to mention this, I find it hilarious that one time I posted on the Cybertron Cafe the third party Metroplex that was going to be like leader size. And I said, I hope when you, all you guys buy this, it comes defective to hear your excuses. And for the first time ever, I was referred to as Hitler because I apparently, because wishing ill on this figure that everyone would buy is the worst thing you can do besides condemn 6 million plus people to death because they have inferior genes. And I remember I went back and forth with this one individual, not going to say names. You know, and I'll, and and he's just like, you're just a low person, blah 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 blah. When in reality, the way he ran his fucking mouth on that chat, like I know for a fact he wouldn't do it in real life. But here's the thing: is that like, uh, like you know, I'm a third party guy, and I I, 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 when I saw that post, I, I immediately took it as a, there, you know, there goes Oscar taking a jab at people that buy expensive third party stuff. But there wasn't for a second a point where like I was like, oh my god, like. You, how hurtful. You bastard. How hurtful of him to want my toy to be defective. I'm going to comment on this, and I'm going to comment on it right now. <laughs> you know, yeah. that, that's just not me. I took it. I had, a, I had a laugh, and I was like, that motherfucker, and I kept scrolling. Yep. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, you know, some of the stuff you got to take with a grain of salt. Uh, so, so to but, uh, bring Matt and uh, Antoine into the discussion here, Earlier this week, we all witnessed someone who uh, was kicked out of a toy store because he pushed a guy <laughs> into uh, a Power Ranger shelf. I was with you on that, man. Yeah. I got kicked out of a TFA for uh, saying somebody made me moist. And, yeah. you know, and <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't get it. I didn't I mean, get it. I was like, come on. And, but and I was with you, man. I was with you all the way, man. All yeah, this the way. Comes, this comes was a to the, like, understanding how to freaking act as a person, like... You know, yeah. like, this it's particular person took something out of somebody's cart when he ta- tried to talk to this individual, and this individual just, like, blew him off. And, like, okay, that sucks. You got blown off. But stay out of someone's cart. Like, that's not right. Keep your keep your space. Like, is, I probably is, wouldn't talk to you either. That is you know? a personal like, bubble. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, is this a certain individual who secretly records himself in stores? And listen, like, if you're going to come <laughs> and me and say yes. that someone's scalping freaking... Freaking bumblebees, because essentially this is like masterpiece bumblebee shelf warmer. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah. So like, you're telling me that something that just sits there in 90% of Toys R Us's is yeah. freaking being scalped. Like, come on, dude. Like, I guess they one right now. They want one. Yeah, you need to grow up. And then, and then also in the same thread, somebody else posted: if someone took stuff out of my cart, I would have glacked them. And like, way to further <laughs> the cause of gun control and concealed yeah. carry. Like. You're a freaking idiot too, and like <laughs> you know, like oh, I'm just, sorry. I just add in to, to add into tonight's theme that the thread that they're talking about is a thread that our our very own uh, troll master here created. Is it not? No, no. he didn't create. No, this, this is yeah, something yeah, else. Greg yeah, showed up late to this party. He was oh, able to like thought, a couple thought, posts, I, I and then it got it deleted. In, uh, I thought it was in that other that other he, chat. No, nope. yeah, it got deleted yeah. right when he was starting to say anything. Yeah, I was just going to point out how fucking stupid motherfuckers are anyway. I mean, I was just going to repeat everything that Justin already said in front of me. Um, I mean, I don't think that this guy wanted the fucking toy. Like, if this situation actually happened, and either whether it did or it did not actually happen, because I think any motherfucker who's going to jump on the fucking Facebook group from his phone in his fucking car talking about what he just did at the toy store, like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, 
I need my own fucking show to talk about this. I need my fucking two hour show to talk about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, any motherfucker who gets on the fucking internet and talks about how, well, Schneid, I pushed this motherfucker into the fucking Power Rangers display, or I would have shot that motherfucker, or man, I remember me and my friends waited for a guy in the parking lot and beat his ass. I beat six of them. My boys took care of the other two. <laughs> Dude, fuck you. You're a fucking bullshit. If you have to go on Facebook and make yourself fucking sound tough, guess what? You're probably not fucking tough. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, I see that shit. I go out in the fucking stores. Like when people are waiting for Soundwave, Masterpiece Soundwave, I had already ordered it. I was in the store looking to find one for a couple of friends. And there's all sorts of low-life motherfucking scum just slinking around looking shady as fuck. And those are the motherfuckers that get on Facebook and post about how fucking badass they are. They're the ones that hide in the fucking corner like fucking shadow wraiths and fucking like <laughs> peep out everybody. Dude, I saw a motherfucker in a TJ Maxx when he was working for Skyquake. He dropped on all fours and was looking under the fucking shelves and looking in luggage in the luggage department because his fucking mentality was to stash shit and be shady. So he was expecting everyone else to stash shit and be shady. You know what I mean? It's just you see these people, how they act, act life. And you can tell who these people are. Like when I see someone post some bullshit, you don't, I don't troll motherfuckers for, for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I show for good. You kind of do. Well, <laughs> kind of do. I think. Uh, no, there, there, there are some posts evil. that kind of fucking <laughs> ask for it, and and that's when I kind of get pissed at Greg because he beats me to it. You know, it's like, oh, you motherfucker. There's like two comments, and okay, there's Greg, there's Greg. I'm like, oh, wonderful. I'm like, well, I'm not fucking jumping on this. He's got it. You know, but I, mean, shit. I, I, but my masterful troll work. Is usually for a reason, <laughs> <laughs> and it is, and, and it is beautiful. I can't sit there and say like, "Oh, I could kill just as good as Greg." Now I'd probably fucking fuck up somewhere and get all racist. He's not the Look, troll. my trolls. He's the troll. I bring, I I bring people from all aspects of the fandom. I I am working on a troll right now, and you guys are familiar with it. I have brought together motherfuckers from like. Various parts of the nerddom, like I build bridges and bring together communities, See. and and parents too. I mean, yeah, yeah. Some, some nerds that don't have anything to do with Transformers at all. Yeah, <laughs> but their parents get involved. <laughs> yeah. I was told by uh, by an admin of a certain uh, a certain group one time that I'm not an admin of that uh, we were dusting my troll behavior. And he actually said that he appreciated it because I, I, I actually go for the people that deserve to be made like fools. You know, the motherfuckers that like stalk your Facebook page and your photos and post stupid fucking comments and, in, you know, say stupid shit. Uh, uh, like, you don't want to start a fight with me if your fucking Facebook wall, like personal banner is fucking, uh, a chick from a Disney channel. What's her name? Uh, <laughs> Selena Gomez. If you're a 35 year old man Gomez on your fucking Facebook wall, you don't want to fucking step up to me because I will shut you the fuck down and I will do it. With I'm not gonna lie. I I know we said we want to make mention names, but I think everyone's gonna know who I'm talking about. There was an individual who was just as ruthless as you, Greg, and he's a super Patriots fan, and <laughs> I love him to death. He recently just had his second kid born. Congratulations. You know who you are. And I love seeing either Greg and him. And when I see him and Greg in the same fucking, like, you know, thread, I just sit there and I don't mind scrolling through 96 comments to see all the funny <laughs> that these two guys fucking laugh. He knows who he is. I just, you know, we made the agreement not to mention names. I, you know, I'm trying to be respectful of that. But I think he's a great guy. I've sold him toys before. And he usually has a shitload of fucking sarcastic answers for so many people, so many people's questions. But just thought it, he deserved an honorable mention. He know you. You guys know who he is. Well, uh, let's wrap this thing up. Um, I think this has been another good episode. I want to thank everybody that's joined the Facebook. That's you know like the Facebook page. You know, uh, yeah. that's fucking subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video. You know, listen to Podomatic, download it here, download it there. Um, we didn't have any questions this week. Feel free to ask questions, and we will. And we will answer them. Um, we'd love to, and we want this like we want this to be for the community, by the community, for the fans, by the fans, for the collector, by the collector. Um, we did raise a poll. We're gonna try to do a poll on our Facebook every week, so please like our Facebook page and um, and participate. And basically, we're asking what all the uh, bumblebees coming out this year um, and that have been out in the past. What are we gonna do? And most people said they're gonna stick with their classics. I don't. 
I don't personally agree with that, but, uh, you know, that's what, that's what the people said. That's because you're a fucking troll. <laughs> right. And, uh. <laughs> Telling my dad. The only other thing I want, I want to, uh, add in is if, if, is if any of you guys listen to podcasts on, on a preferred network or internet site or whatever, and if, um, you know, if, if the price is conducive for us, um, let us know and we will get that shit uploaded there. Um, you know, as long as it's in the free range. When we start seeing something back, then, you know, we'll, we have some, we have some bigger ideas in the works. But if it's like a free internet hosting spot and this is where you prefer to listen, let us know and we will put it there. Uh, you have our word. Um, we're available on iTunes. We're available on Podomatic. We're available yeah. on YouTube. Be sure to look. like us on like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to us on YouTube. We got a Tumblr. We have a leave Tumblr as well. On, on iTunes. I don't even know. Stuff, you know? Huh? Yeah, leave some reviews. You know, any 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 little little thing like that that you know, if you could take a few seconds out of your day. Um, I'm not begging for five stars. If you leave them, that's nope. fine. But you know, like, <laughs> just, just, uh, don't forget you know, to rate, honest, comment, and subscribe. But we uh we post uh you know this shit takes a lot of work and yeah. and we're all you know dividing up the labor here and we're all playing a part and it's and it's it's starting to become a well oiled machine so we appreciate you, you know we love doing it we appreciate you listening yep. and, and not if, only do if we there's anything yeah. that we could do to make it smoother you know let us know and in, if you guys can get back a little that's awesome too you know not only is uh unfortunately people like myself um I'm learning to I am going through that really sharp learning curve. And I'm trying my best to get these things uploaded the very next day. You know, sadly, Almodo call recorder is what I use. A podcast this long, it takes a good time just to render. And then to finally render the actual video to go up on the YouTube channel takes another hour and change in itself. And then, of course, then there's the actual processing time on YouTube because they changed their fucking processing um, procedures where a video may not take up, may now take up to 48 hours to post. Which is retarded. Uh, but in the end, you know, you guys were very patient. You got a lot of positive feedback on the first episode. We're on yep. iTunes. We got to fix that, uh, that default pick, uh, because I am not crazy about the Podomatic logo being there. But yeah. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll adjust that. Thankfully, this podcast has two very, very talented artists as far as I'm concerned. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, I got some stuff coming in the future. Um, I'd like to do play around with the Tumblr anyway. Um, yeah. but we'll talk about Absolutely. that off the air. Um, and if there's anyone that could like shoot me a private message and explain to me what the fuck Tumblr is, um, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> it's like it's like see, fucking Twitter. See, see me on that too. It's like uh, I'll, I'll 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 just condense it for you guys right now. You know how Twitter gives you 140 characters to use? Sure. Tumblr doesn't. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were all getting Batmobiles. So yeah, I so. when I first heard about it too, I thought about a fucking sweet ride. I'm like, whoa, that's for sale. Uh, there's also tons of uh, porn on it as well. Nice. Rule thirty four yeah, is the when uh, I gotta say this real quick before we before we go ahead and cast off. Rule thirty four is funny, but it's you know you fucking make me want to hate you, fellow fans, when you go out of your way to pencil, ink, draw, and then magnificently color breakdown thrusting away on knockout. <laughs> you kind of make me cringe a bit inside. To think that breakdown would be the female of that pair is just insulting. We all know it'd be knockout. He acts like so damn flamboyant. He might as well be a chick. You know. <laughs> Alright, that, that's just, seriously, you go out of your way to draw Optimus Prime fisting RC. I, I gotta draw the line, dude. It's just weird. Nice. What? Yeah, it's there, man. Just, it's, 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 it's in the area I call the dark part of the internet. <laughs> it's, it's near the end of the internet. Yeah. Right. So, check for us on all those spots, and uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, like Oscar said, we're struggling a little bit to, to, you know, to work out the kinks and get everything scheduled. But we promise you an episode by Friday every week. Yep. You know, maybe earlier, sometimes maybe, maybe not, but never later than Friday. So, and if it's Friday, go to Anime Export, get your real jack quick before it's, the time's over. Yep. Right. Do so, you, what's the so, web address? Uh, AnimeExport.com. I believe so, yeah. yeah AnimeExport.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Shattercast Uncut. And look us up on iTunes, Podomatic. And does anyone got anything else you want to plug? Um, I love yeah, this yeah, shirt. Oh, if, no homo. <laughs> if, if you want a real nice, relaxed Transformers trading environment, be sure to check out the Cybertron Cafe admin by our very own GFC. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I'm Greg for Mercy. Wow, that was fucked up. I'm sorry, Greg. 
As always, be sure to check out T2RX6 on YouTube for the latest reviews that, frankly, don't sit there and are a half hour long and always starts with the figure in its alt mode. Be sure to check out T2RX6 on YouTube. And me, Oscar and Jay Boy, for my next Big Dumb Toy review, I'm going Beast Wars. So, nice. got a lot of funny going on with that. Thank you, Lyo Convoy, and your imposable and, legs. And Bobby. Hey, don't forget about Bobby. He does what he does. <coughs> That's right, Bobby, yeah. Skullface has started doing uh, yeah. reviews, too. Starting to throw too. my hat in the game a little bit. Yeah. Uh, defending our myths and heroes. And, uh, uh, you know, I, we, I just sent off a check this week to National Fallen Firefighter Foundation. We, uh, nice. I do a charity every year. So uh, hoping to get bigger and better and all that kind right of on, stuff. Right on, right on. If you guys want a sweet Transformer drawing done, be sure to get with Bobby on that. Skull yes, face, uh has got some pretty decent prices. I will be taking commissions later. But at the moment, not now, because frankly, I have a contract. I got to fulfill fucking full screen. And uh, <clears throat> when I get done with them, and I'm not renewing, and then I'll be doing my own freelance shit. So, right. any closing comments? Take us out. Yeah, I have, I have one. Hold on, hold on. Oh, go ahead, Antoine. A, a shout out to Dove K. No. As always, yeah, that's right. Be sure to check out Dove K and Toys and More dot com. For really decent prices for domestic shipping here in the States for the time being, uh, their, their prices are usually the amount shipped. It's not the price and then plus shipping near the end where you find out, crap, I got a full pony up another extra 15 bucks to buy this guy. Jason from Dub K doesn't fuck around at all. He's a real good guy. Be sure to get a hold of him and, and be sure to check out the Dub K Cybertronian Deli as well. And um, until then, remember, love yourselves and one another. You've just been shattered. 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 America. America.